and to answer the one big question I have on real estate. As a first time buyer, what is very important that I need to know? Could you please just explain to me as a short introduction? Hi Alex. So the first thing that you need to obviously make sure is that your credit record is sound. So the banks do want to know that you are responsible in terms of how you manage your retail accounts. Always make sure that those are paid on time. And then the second thing the banks would want to know whether you are a full-time employed individual and they would request your three months pay slips, your last three months pay slips as well as your last three months bank statements. So the banks want to see that you are somebody that earns a regular income. So does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Um, um, could you please just explain to me what a de deposit actually is? Mm -hmm. Because I've heard of the term deposit. Um, like let's say I'm buying a cheap property um, and they say you put a deposit towards it. What does that actually mean? A deposit essentially is a cash element. So let's say you have managed to save up 200,000 rand cash and the home you'd like to purchase costs a million rand. So you would put down the 200,000 rand cash deposit. It would then only require an 800,000 rand home loan. So the purchase would then entail two elements, one being a cash element or deposit and the other being a home loan. Is there anything else that I should know about um, that you haven't told me already? Um, in terms of a, being a first time buyer, are there any important terms I should know or do you think you've explained the basics to me? I think we, you, you also would need to be pre-approved, but that would be a whole another discussion for another day. Alright. Thank you. And thank you very much. You're welcome. Do stay tuned and subscribe to Real Talk with Simone as I will be discussing this very same topic in a little bit more depth during my next video.